So we are in Columbia, South Carolina. So this is South Carolina. Right. South Carolina's pretty. Pretty. Wow. Look at the leaves, they're changing colors. See this Instagram photo I posted? How many likes we have? Here, you want to hear some of the comments? This really cute girl says, at Dr. Nassif, come see me. But where is she? She's here. Really? Yeah. Dude, look at her. She's cute. I mean, there's a lot of great girls all over the country. You need a nice Southern Belle. Yeah. You need a good Southern Belle in your life. This whole experience traveling with Paul is truly amazing. Not only are we getting out of the office, we're really getting an opportunity to meet some truly amazing people and potentially help them. You remember who we're going to see here? Crystal. We're going to see Crystal. Crystal has a deformity of her feet. Crystal has had a lifelong foot deformity. She's had numerous procedures already, but she's still struggling with it. So now we're here to see if there's anything that we can do to help her. Can you imagine walking around with this deformity? I mean, what do you do when you're a kid? Go to pool parties? Oh, this must be really hard, you She know? probably has to hide it all the time. You think so? Yeah, I'll bet you. Terry doesn't know it, but I have a bit of knowledge about Crystal's condition, brachymetatarsia. So this is going to be a very interesting exam for me. OK, so this is the street, my friend. Oh, we're here? Yep. OK, good. Hi. Well, hello. hello. How are you? I'm Crystal's mom. Welcome. Thank Come you. In. Hello. When I first see the doctors, it's like super exciting. I cannot believe that they're actually here just to see me. So it was like one of the best things ever. You are so cute. Oh. <laughs> no, you are too. Go yeah. you are. I want to thank you for inviting us to your home. No, thank you for so much for oh, coming. Oh, it's our pleasure. Oh my God. Like, I'm so excited. I'm sorry. It's well, like, thank you, you so much. We made the spread for I mean, you. Guys. Yeah, in anticipation yes. of your arrival, and this is the you South. Really, wow. really oh my God. So what are we recording? Sweet potato pie. Have you ever had sweet potato pie? Wait, was that sweet potato pie? Sweet potato pie. Yeah. Yeah, sweet potato pie. Yeah, No, but I want that. You want that? Yeah. I want you to take care of him first, because, you know, since he is the one that you said who's cuter than I me. I said you both were cute. No, I did no. not. Well, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Go wash it down. Sweet. Oh, that's sweet. Mmm. <laughs> sweet potato pie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was delicious. Thank you, but that's not why we came here, right? We yes. came here to see if we can help you. Yes. Going to someone's home for a house visit is really different. You're meeting the entire family. It completely changes your perspective of the patient and their problem. I have brachymetatarsia. Right. So that's where I have the short fourth toe. I noticed the issue with my toes when I was like five. My toe was shorter, just sat on top of my foot, like just different. We all went outside one day. It was the first time she actually went outside. We played, you know, we were playing kickball, and she played without her shoes on. And it's like, that's when everybody noticed them. And all our friends started picking at her. I actually kind of felt bad, but. Well, you I, did. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm I try to be sentimental here. Kids can be cruel. I remember one day I had on some sandals. This girl, she was like, I wouldn't wear sandals if I were you, because you can see your feet. So that kind of like stuck with me. Was it a problem when you were growing up, or it wasn't really a problem? This is something that. Like, I just remember praying, OK, God, just make my foot normal. OK, I'm going to go to sleep at night. I'm going to wake up. And when I get up, it's going to be normal. And then I take the covers off, and it's the same. You know, really? so that's just, it is a personal issue for me. When I see other people doing things that I want to do, like, I want to be able to just walk around barefoot without worrying about if somebody's talking about me or worrying about what people say. The steps I take to hide my feet, I always have socks, even at home. I've never, ever went and got a pedicure. I don't wear open-toed shoes, or I'm she doesn't always... go to the beach. You mean even not. now? No. She won't do it. If anybody brings up the beach, nope. No, we're not going. I mean, you couldn't just go and, you know, you're laying in the sand, you can kind of cover it up with your other foot. The other foot is like that, too. So the other foot is not any <laughs> better. So it's like both of them. The, I had surgery on the left foot, but it's also on the right foot as right. well. That is, I had surgery on the left foot first to try to fix that problem. And then if that went OK, we were supposed to do the right. Right. And he told me they'll put the surgeon in my foot, and I would turn it two to three times a day, and that will cause the bone to grow. That's right. If your goal is to lengthen a bone, one of the most innovative ways to do that is to put what's called an external 
fixator device on two ends of the bone and slowly turn the key to expand the bone, which will allow the bone to fill in a gap that's created over a period of time. I go back to him a month later, and he's like, so show me how you work it. So I'm turning it for him, and he said, you're turning it the wrong way. Oh. It was just terrible. It got infected. Yeah, I actually, as part of your records, have your x-rays. So instead of healing, you can see you actually lost bone. Look at this you bone gap. gap. I see. Oh, wow. See that? Unfortunately, the procedure you had made it very significantly worse. Mm. Can we go into that front room and have a really yeah, careful exam? Yeah, seeing the x-rays, it just now it explains why I'm having more pain and more issues, because it's like a part of my bone that's just missing that's not there. Now, let's go ahead and put your foot just on here. Okay. So generally, when it comes to brachymetatarsia, this is a distance of 1.5 centimeters. Anything beyond this really starts to put the blood vessels on a significant stretch to the point where you can lose the toe. Your distance is, is longer. It's about two centimeters that we would need to get it. This fourth toe is short, but it's only about one centimeter, which is well within the safety parameters of lengthening. On your right foot, the one that did not have surgery, where you could take cadaver bone, insert the cadaver graft, and instantly it's brought out to length, and instantly it looks normal. On the foot that was operated on, however, it's very short, which might render it impossible to fix. For one of Crystal's feet, I have a really good solid plan. The problem is with the other foot. I'm about 90% sure that it will fail and will make matters much worse. I want to propose something to you. If you actually just remove this toe. My first thought was, you are not cutting off my toe. It wasn't the answer I was looking for at all. This certainly is up to you. If you actually just remove this toe. I don't like that idea of you amputating that toe. I just don't, because I have a toe like that. Shut up. You have brachymetatarsia? So look at my thumbs. See how they're short? Yeah. And you see how these metacarpals right here are short? So my left toe is like that. So I've been sitting here listening to all this, you know, thinking to myself, I know exactly where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. My fourth toe on my left foot is significantly smaller than the rest of the toes. And growing up, I was relentlessly teased, which made me always want to hide my foot. However, her condition is a lot more significant than mine because she has pain in her feet, and also this has been very psychologically damaging to her. When I was learning how to do these procedures, they used to show us pictures of feet with deformities. We're looking at the foot, trying to make the diagnosis. Nobody could figure out what was wrong with the foot. And they were showing us people with four toes. Get out of here. And I feel that if you're willing to do this, that you could potentially have com two completely normal looking feet. Okay. What do you think? It's a lot to take in with, the, right? Foot. Of course, I'm fine. But like I can say it's like the, the amputation, it is something, it's a lot to think about. Well, I think that's the one question mark that remains. Of all the patients that we've seen, Crystal is the one that I can most relate to. And I hope we can help her. Wow. I had no idea. I, 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 I kind of been really never wanted to tell you. Because you know why I don't want to tell you. Well, because I'm going to tease you about it? Of course. It? I wouldn't tease you about that. But the only thing that you probably would make me do is take off your shoe no. in front of other people, and then I'd say, I'm going to kill you. No. Because it does bother me. I tease you about being fat. You're not fat, OK? Yeah, I'm not going to tease you about a foot deformity. Well, now you know. Right? So when you go to the ocean and you're trying to test whether the water's cold or not, do you stick your toe in? You guys ready to have something to drink? Yeah, I you want, uh, you want a Bloody Mary? Come on, we're on the road. All right. Two Bloody Marys? Bloody Marys. Let's do it. Right back, guys. Thanks. While we're here in South Carolina, one thing I need to do is I need to get Terry to stop questioning me about my foot. When you're 
about to enter into a relationship with a girl, do you think about how am I going to introduce this subject? Yes, at this point in my life, since I'm older and obviously I have other things going on, I really don't care. But I will tell you, there was, I think, a couple months ago, dating someone, and they go, hey. And they just come in. They went down and grabbed my tongue. You're kidding me. And I go, ah! I freaked out a minute. She goes, yeah, that's really cool. How do you meet girls these days? It's not like I date all the time. Have you done those dating site things? No. You haven't done any of them? No. Newsflash, Grandpa. This is the way people meet each other these days. We should get you a Tinder account. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. I'm probably not going to use it, though. All right, fine. Give me your phone. Terry, why are you trying so hard to get me on Tinder? Are you trying to live vicariously through me? What age range of girls? Late 20s. To what's the high range? 39. What's the highest? 39. All right, now we need a description of you. How about um, debonair, suave? Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, oh can I ask God. you guys a question? Would you guys mind coming over? Oh can I ask God. a question? Come on over. I want to ask you guys. Wait, 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 hold on. This is embarrassing. I'm not going to sit over here. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm Terry. I'm Taylor. This nice to meet Paul. you. Will you guys sit down. I want to ask yeah, you a definitely. question. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. By the way. I'm married, he's single, and this is sort of irrelevant, but he's a plastic surgeon. We're in town visiting patients, but he's single right now, okay. right? He's having, I want him to open up his horizons and be able to meet more people, all right? So we were talking about putting him on Tinder. All of my friends are on Tinder. Maybe we could match, match you up. First of all, how would you sort of describe him? Clearly, the first thing you realize, he's He's hairy. You need a weed whacker to get past well, this. Well, obviously he likes showing it off. I think it looks good. That's I think good. it looks good. So then what are you saying that should be written on the thing? What stuff you like to do? Do you like to travel? He loves to yeah. travel. And you need to put that in. He loves restaurants. Oh, he loves to eat. Women what? like men who want to be adventurous. You're adventurous. Like adventure. like See, Terry, you can tease me all you want. But I clearly have all the qualities that women are looking for. I have a couple picture uh, ideas for you. Throwback. I actually like that. TBT. Very TBT. That killed Disco. <laughs> <laughs> we should take a new picture. We should take a new picture. We should take a picture. Yes. Yeah. I don't know exactly how Tinder is going to affect Paul's life. One thing is for sure, Tinder is going to be greatly affected because I heard once we set Paul up, there was a record for left swipes. Well, thank you so much. I sure. really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Hope you all have a great rest of your trip. Thank, thank you very much. Early. <laughs> How you doing? I know you don't like it, Crystal, but I think you should pick out shoes. <laughs> I've lived my whole life with this issue since I was 10, doing what I have to do to camouflage it the best way I, I know how. How about these? This shows like all my feet, so you know I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear these. This toe don't look as bad as that, as that toe. Well, so we Angie and I haven't seen any of your toes, so we don't know which one is the good one or the bad one. Crystal's feet is like a mystery. Like, I haven't seen them. You know, it's kind of like that elephant in the room. So you're going to hide behind the chair? Yep. Yeah, I think you should just, like, let us see your toe. Well, when y'all have, quote, unquote, normal toes, like, it's nothing for people to, like, just try shoes on. But this is something I do. My feet are not my favorite thing about me. <sighs> I guess y'all can see it. OK, so see? It's not a circus, so don't really. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to get up, but it's not as bad as you, like, really? Yes, it is. And the other one is yes, like that, but it's not as bad. Chris, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I know you for 10 years, and I've never seen your feet. It's OK. You don't have to cry. <laughs> so don't cry. I'm nervous about the whole surgery, whether or not it's going to work or not, because I've been through it before. So just the whole anticipation of how it's going to look and is it going to be successful this time. I went in the first time with high hopes that it was going to work, and it didn't. No, it's yeah. just like this is my thought when I had the surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, it was going to work. And I... Yeah, she had real high hopes, and I think she overexpected. Going to a surgery like this is nerve-wracking because I have a big decision to make whether or not we are going to amputate my toe or not. But I guess I'm actually getting the best surgeon that there is, so I'm confident that it's going to work. This hopefully we can um, get this done, and this can be behind me. Now, can I take my shoe, my foot off display? Yes, yeah, you like can. Like at the um, museum. It wasn't on display. We I mean, Chris, it's only been it. 10 years, so I'm, let me see you one more time, because I don't know if I'm going to see it again. Yeah, this see. might be the last one. All right, let me see. Because it's not so y'all better see. embed it in your memory. Uh, oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Ah, ah. I have, like, knots and butterflies, but I'm still excited at the same time, but I just hope it works this time. It's going to work. It's all unreal that this is happening today, like, I, I kept saying, like, is this the day? Like, on the way here, I'm like, am I going to California for the surgery? <laughs> like, I can't believe this. Uh, yeah. We're going to 
take it away. How are you? Where's my dessert? Good to see you. Hey. 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 By the way, and you know this guy, hey, Dr. Hey, Scott Foreman, you? our okay. special guest today. I brought you the very best. So obviously, you've we've talked about both feet, yes. there are decisions to be made. <laughs> Although I've done this kind of surgery many times in the past, I really want to give Crystal the best outcome possible. I'm going to bring in a friend of mine who's an orthopedic surgeon who has a very specialized experience doing this particular type of surgery. Nobody likes to lose body parts, exactly. but with feet, it's more about function. Okay. And you know, functionally, this toe is just in the way. And you're in pain, right? I am, exactly. Yeah. From... Pain's gotten worse, right? Yeah, it has. So I think, you know, the, the most safest and effective way to go here is just to amputate it. The whole but thing. But body parts that don't work and body parts that are making your foot worse, then, then that's bad. Let me give my two cents. Okay. Remember when we talked with the house, I kind of said, because I have that left, I had the same toe on my left foot. I wasn't on board that much before. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But then if you're having the pain, he showed me some before and afters of how these things appear. You're going to take care of the right foot and then amputate this so you can actually feel better. You, there's nothing else to do. You got to do it. Problem, now, yeah. Especially with this pain. That now, I'm you, having the excruciating pain. I mean, if you weren't having it. pain, that'd be one thing. Yeah. It wasn't bothering you. But it is. Just speaking to the doctors today just gave me that confidence that I needed. So I'm very confident in the decision to amputate my toe. For Crystal's surgery today, we're gonna make an incision underneath Crystal's short fourth toe, severing all of the toe's connecting tendons before removing the toe. On the right foot, we're gonna saw the third and fourth metatarsal bones to create a space, then inserting metal pin through the bone that will hold pieces of cadaver bone graft in place. What's interesting about this is, You've exsanguinated the extremity, taking all the blood out of it. That is correct. So how long can you go before it becomes dangerous? The leg can hold its breath safely for about two hours. The extremity is a very vascular part of the body, and you want to evacuate all of the blood. The problem is you have a limited period of time because the tissue will start to slowly die. So this is the part she's going to like because her fear was she's going to have a gap between the toes. And by taking this bone out, uh, she won't have that gap. That yes. just hurts. That looks painful. There you go. All right. There we go. So this little piggy is going to pathology. <laughs> <laughs> when you're going to remove a body part, you're removing all of the components of that body part. It's really a full-blown amputation. This is where the plastic surgery comes yep, in. Yep, yep. Once the left fourth toe is removed and sewn up nicely, it's onto the right foot. So we're going to go between the third and the fourth. That way, we get both through one incision. The bone lengthening procedure will involve making a gap between the ends of the bone and inserting a bone graft that her own bone cells will insert bone, allowing her to heal and have normal length third and fourth toes. So this is kind of the tricky part, because I have to like shish kebab down the center of the bone. That's it. This pin is used to hold the bone graft in place and keep the bones out to length. All right, you ready? This is a fibula from a human. We have to put a bone graft in like a piece of a puzzle that's precisely matching to allow the bone to be lengthened straight and exactly the distance you want it to be. Push. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. X-ray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crystal's bone grafts are in place, and with a little bit of healing, Crystal should have normal third and fourth length toes. Okay, so that's going to close, and now oh, she's yeah. got a pretty darn good looking foot. That is fantastic. Nice job. Seriously. Thank you. Way to go. How are you? Good. How are you? Give us a hug. Huh? It's been a little while. It has. It has. It's been a Hi. My favorite surgeon. How are Good you? To see you? That's right. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Wait, whoa, whoa. There I you mean, go. that was my, well, wait. one of my yeah, favorite. Yeah. The truth of. comes out. I yes. think the one first thing was probably more accurate. How are you? It's been a process. So, your left foot with the amputation, how are you dealing with that? Um, Have you gotten used to it? I haven't. It's going to take some adjusting. As long as I can remember my toe, that's been a part of me. It's not there, and it's never going to be there again. It was kind of like, was this a good idea? Let's pull the pins. So you probably don't want to watch. Why don't you lie back? Yeah. Oh, it's out? That's oh, it. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. but by the way, 
That's not the one that hurts. <laughs> my mind is racing like, did you see the pins that's in my foot, in my toes? Like, how can this not hurt? All right, we're gonna twist a little bit and voila. Yeah. 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 That more. <laughs> oh. Crystal is really a champ. With a few more months, hopefully she'll be able to heal and feel good about her toes, and she'll do things she's always wanted to do, like a pedicure. All right, seriously, thank congratulations. You so much. You're welcome. I was born with Bracken Metatarsia. I've always been insecure about my feet. I've wanted this, I'm older, so I'm not gonna say how I am, but I've wanted this for years, you know. It's like a second chance, and most people don't get that. A lot of people don't get that, so I am grateful. Who's Crystal supposed to scare? I think in a few minutes. It's amazing that she even agreed to come do this. Right, I think she's a little <laughs> nervous. Today I'm getting my first pedicure ever. I'm excited, but kind of nervous at the same time. My foot is still really swollen. Right. My foot is Go swollen. you. Before my surgery, my four toes were shorter than the other and placed awkwardly on top of my feet. Anything that involved me showing my feet were out, no beaches, pools, pedicures. Since my surgery, all five toes are aligned evenly, and then my left foot, the pain is gone, the tape is gone, and I'm just able to live my life and just stop putting things on hold. So this is what I've been missing. They have like rose petals in here. Like, mm -hmm. wait till they start rose oh, massaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. this. this is awesome. It was a lot to get used to of having one of your toes amputated, but then when you see the healing process, and you're like, okay, like this is better than it was before. Yeah, so you get pedicures, buy new shoes, go to the beach. That'll be fun. I think it'll be really fun. Yeah. Walk around now, you worry about people looking. Exactly, because nobody's gonna be looking. When you've been hiding something for so long and now you're able to show it to the world, it's like the most gratifying feeling. It's like a sigh of relief. I wanna see them, I, I, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. They are so pretty. Yeah, it was awesome, it was good. Like, it was, it was really, 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 good. really good. Like, it felt really, really, really good. She did a great job. She did. I have been through a lot. Having your hopes up the first time and not having it work get the second chance at it and not be ashamed anymore. As you can see, it's like it's like a best feeling ever. It, it is. These are tears of joy, by the way. My first pedicure, the first of the many. Cheers the to Crystal's toes. Oh, cheers to my toes. <laughs> yeah, thank you.